Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Welcome to my YouTube channel Calculus and Mathematics Learning. In the previous video, I started and commenced with exercise number 4.3 relevant with the topic linear transformation, uh, linear algebra written by Bernard Coleman and David R. Hill 8 edition. So in the previous video, I solved past 16 question of the exercise number 4.3. In this video, I will solve the remaining 16 question of the same exercise 4.3. So let's move toward question number 17. It tells that let L is a linear transformation from R square to R square be a linear transformation such that L of I is 2, 3. This I represent a vector. So it means the transformation over here is doing in a vector. So L of I is 2, 3. L of J is minus 1 of 2. That tells that point L of 4 minus 3. So L of 4 minus 3 can be written as L of 4 minus 3 in other pair palm. Now this I represent along x axis. So along x axis we take the component I and this minus 3 represent J component. That's why we write it minus 3J. Now take out 4 common it become L of I, 4 L of I. And from here take out negative 3 common we left with L of J. Now L of I is given as 2, 3. So it can be written in the form of order pair 2, 3. And minus 3 time of L of J. L of J is minus 1, 2 which can be written in the form of order pair. Now 4 multiply 2 gives us 8, so over, over here we will write i because this is i component and this is j component so 3 multiply 4 will give us 12j because this is a j component. Minus 3 into minus 1, it will give us plus 3i, minus 3 into 2 will, 2 will give us minus 6j. 8i plus 3i, it will give us 11i and 12j plus minus 6j, it will give us 6j. Now we will write the answer in matrix form also 11 and 6 this is actually the required and desired answer now question number 18 is same just like question 17 but overhead the transformation in a 3 cross 3 order matrix so let a, a l is a linear transformation from r cube to r cube such that l of i is 1 2 minus 1 l of j 1 0 2 l of j 1 1 3 point l of 2 minus 1 and 3 so 2 minus 1 3 can be written in the form of order pair this is x component this is y component and this is z component so it become l of 2i minus j and plus 3k take out 2 common we left with l of i take out minus common we left with l of j take out 3 common we left with l of k put l of i l of j l of k which is given all of these 3 are given so by multiplying and by doing simplification it will give us 4i 7j plus pi ok so 4 will write over here 7 will write over here and the k component will be uh, down in down position. So it means the required and desired answer for L of 2 minus 1 and 3 is actually 4, 7 and pi o. Now solving next question, question number 19, uh, it tells that let L be the linear transformation defined in the question number 11, find all vectors x in r power 3 such that L of x is equal to 0. So let L be the linear transformation defined in question number 11. In question number 11, we have condition given L of x, y, z is equal to x into x minus y. X minus y. Over here we have r power 3 because 3 rows and in the, in the required answer, in the required uh, image of we have r power 2 because 2 rows are given. So let us find all vectors x in r power 3 such that l of x is 0. So let's suppose I assume this x, y, z is equal to x, let's suppose. So it become l of x so is equal to x, x minus y. Now that is that l of x is equal to 0, this is the condition. So l of x is 0, 0 because over here we have 2 rows, so I will take 2 rows. So it become x is equal to 0. So it is x minus y is equal to 0. So it become x is equal to y. Now my x is 0, so y will also be 0. Now we need the value of x. So, so my x is supposed to be x, y, z. So my x is 0, y is also 0, and z is not defined. So I will write x is equal to 0, 0. And let's suppose my z is equal to arbitrary constant r. r belong to any real for all vector in r power 3 for which l of x is equal to 0. So this is the required answer. Next question number 20 tells that repeat question number 19. Repeat question number 19 means that the condition is l of x is equal to 0. Where l is a linear transformation depend in question number 12. In question number uh, question number 12, this condition is given L of x, y, z, 1, 0, 1, minus 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1 into x, y, z. By multiplying these two matrices, it will give us x plus z minus x plus y and z. Now I assume x is equal to x, y, z, so it becomes L of x so is equal to x plus z minus x plus y and z. Now L of x is equal to 0, condition is given in question number 19, so it becomes 0, 0, 0, and it becomes x plus z minus x plus y, z. Now from here, z is 0, so it becomes minus x plus y is 0, so now from over here x plus z x plus z zero now my z zero so s, x will be zero and y will also be zero so it means the required x is zero 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 and r belong to real for all vector in r power three such that l of x is equal to zero now let's solve question number 21 describe the following linear transformation geometrically so three up uh, three parts are given a b c so in the past part we have l of, l of x y is equal to minus x y so my l of x y is minus x y let's suppose i assume x is equal to y is equal to one by putting one over here become negative one and one Let's suppose I put x is equal to y is equal to 2, so it becomes minus 2 into 2. Now by drawing geometric interpretation, it will give us a graph just like this. So from this graph, we conclude data 
this linear transformation is reflected along y-axis. This is along y-axis. This can be either along positive y-axis or this can be along negative y-axis. So from this we conclude data. The given transformation is along y-axis. Now part number b is l of x, y is minus x minus y. Let i assume x is equal to y is equal to 1. So it becomes min minus 1 and minus 1 and 1 and 1. Now when I draw the graph we conclude that it is passing through the origin. So from passing through the origin means that it is passing through the both y-axis and uh, x-axis. So this is actually the geometrical interpretation. Now the last part is option uh, part number c l of x, y is minus y, x, o. So minus y and x is possible only when the given matrix A of u. A is 0, minus 1, 1 and 0. So it become L of x, y will be minus x minus y and x is possible when a is 0 minus 1, 1 and 0. And a will give 0 minus 1, 1, 0 only when the angle over here we put 90. So cos 90, 0, cos sin 90 minus 1, 1 and 0. So it means that this graph is rotating counterclockwise through the angle of 90 degrees. So this is actually the geometrical interpretation. Now let's solve next question. Question number 22 is same like just like question number 21. It tells they describe the following linear transformation geometrically. So three point are given. L of x, y is y of x is given. So y of x is possible when the given matrix A is 0, 1, 1 and 0. Now when I put some value and give some value to x, y over here, 2, 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, 3, 1. So this random values will give us y, x, so which is actually the output 1, 2, 2, 1, 3, 1 and 1, 3. When I draw it in the origin plane, its graph is just like this. It means that this is rotated and reflected towards the y, x, axis. And part number B is L of x, y is minus y minus x, so, so this is possible, minus y minus x is possible when a is 0, minus 1, minus 1 and 0. So when I assume and give some value randomly to x and y, 1, 2, 1, 1 and 2, 1, it gives us the output minus y minus x minus 2 minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 minus 2. When I draw the graph over here, I conclude that it is passes through the origin. It means that it is reflected towards both y-axis and x-axis. Part number C is L of x, y is equal to 2x, 2y. My A matrix will be 2, 0, 0, 2 in order to find and in order to get 2x and 2y. So when I assume and some give some value randomly to this x and y, just like 1, 1, 2, 2, minus 1, minus 1, minus 1, minus 2, it gives us the output 2x, 2y, which is actually 2, 2, 4, 4, minus 2, minus 2, minus 4, minus 4. When I draw it through the graph, so it gives us a straight line passing through the origin. It means this is also reflected toward both x-axis and y-axis. Now let's try question number 43. It tells that determine that L of x, y is equal to x plus y plus 1, x minus y is a linear transformation from r square to r square. So let's suppose I assume u1 is x1, y1, u2 is x2, y2. So L u1 plus u2 will be u1 is x1, y1, u2 is x2, y2. It becomes x1 plus x2, y1 plus y2. Put x1 plus x2 over here, it becomes x1 plus x2 and y, y1 plus y2 and plus 1. Replace x with x1 plus x2 and y with y1 plus y2. It becomes minus y1 minus y2. This is actually L u1 plus L u2. We already learned in the first question of this exercise. L u1 will be just replace x and y with 1 and 1. x1, y1 plus 1. It becomes x1 minus y1, same y as LU2. So by adding LU1 plus LU2, it will give us x1, x2 by 1, y2, and plus 1 plus 1 gives us 2. Over here it is x1, and over here we have x2. So x1 plus x2 minus y1 minus y2. Now from over here, we have x1, x2 by 1, y2. x1, x2 by 1, y2. But over here we have 1, over here we have 2. So these are not equal, it means this does not satisfy the condition. This is not the linear transformation. Question number 24 is let L is a linear transformation from R square to R power 1. R square means we have two rows over here in r power mean and the output we have one row we are in a transformation defined by l of x y sin x plus sin y let u is one is x1 y1 u2 is x2 y2 by adding this it and put x1 x2 over here becomes sin x1 plus x2 and put y over here y1 plus y2 becomes sin y1 plus y2 replace this l of x y with l of u so l of u is actually sin x plus sin y replace u with one so it becomes sin x1 and sin y1 and replace u with two so it becomes l of u2 will be sin x2 plus sin y2 by adding this two it becomes l u1 plus l u2 give the sin x1 sin x2 sin y1 plus sin y2 now from over here this is l u1 plus l u2 l u2 this is l u1 plus l u2 both are not does not satisfy the linear transformation condition now that is that from question number 25 to 30 find standard matrix representing L. So 25 question is linear transformation from R square to R square is a reflection with respect to y x axis. So matrix is not given. So we know the definition by the linear transformation that L of u is equal to a u. So my u is always equal to x y because this is R square we have two rows so we will take two dimensional plane x and y. So L of x y will be a. 
So my u is x, y, my a will be minus 1, 0, 0, 1. So it will give us minus x and y. For the reflection with respect to y, x, x is the required image will always be minus x and y. And it is possible only when my a is minus 1, 0, 0, 1. Now over here, L of x, y is minus x and y. So L of e1, e1 is the first entry in which we put x1, y0. So it become 1, 0 will give us x is 1 and y0 will become minus 1 and 0. Now by putting L E2, so it become L replace X with 0 and Y with 1. So 0, 1 and 0, 1. So my required matrix will be minus 1, 0 and 0, 1. This is the required standard matrix. Question number 26 is linear transformation from R square to R square defined by L of X, Y is equal to X minus Y and X plus Y. So my L of E1 past entry will be L of X, Y, X, Y replace X with 1 and Y with 0. So 1 and 0 replace over here X with 1 and Y with 0. It gives us 1 and 1. Now in the second entry, we will make a x is equal to 0 and put y is equal to 1 over here. So it will give us minus 1, 1. So my required matrix will be 1, 1 and minus 1, 1. This is the required standard matrix. Now let's learn question number 27. Let L is a linear transformation from R square to R square the counterclockwise rotation through pi by 4 radian. So my A is cos pi minus sin pi sin pi cos pi. You know that. So replace theta with pi by 4. So cos pi by 4 0 0.707 minus Z sin. Pi by 4, 0 0.7077. All values will be 0 0.707. So L of u is equal to A of u by putting over here and by simplification, my L of xy will be this value. Now, for L of e1, put y0 and x1, it becomes 0 0.707, 0 0.707. For L of e2, put x0 and y1, so it becomes 0 0.707, 0 0.07. So the required matrix will be this value and this value. This is the required matrix. Question 28, 28 is same, just like 27. Let R, L is a linear transformation from R square to R square. The counterclockwise rotation to, to just pi by 3 radian. Over here, we have pi by 4 radian, and over here, we have pi by 3 radian. Now, the matrix will be same as cos of pi minus sin pi. Cos 60 degree is 0. 0.5 sin 60 is minus under root 3 by 2 sin 60 is under root 3 by 2 and cos of 60 is 0 0.5 by multiplying it will give us the matrix 0 0.5 minus 0 0.8 0 0.8 0 0.5 this is the required standard matrix now let's understand question number 29 l is a linear transformation from r cube to r cube defined by l of x y z is x minus y x plus z y minus z now for l of p one plus s entry we will make x one and other entry 0 0 so put x1 and y and z0 so it become 1 1 0 now for another entry e2 we will make y1 and another entry x and z0 0 so it becomes 0 1 0 so put over here x and y0 it becomes 0 uh, put x0 and y1 so it become minus 1 0 and 1 now for another entry make x and y0 and z1 so it will give us 0 1 minus 1 so the required standard matrix will be 1 1 0 minus 1 0 1 and 0 1 minus 1 for question number 30, it tells that linear transformation from R cube to R cube defined by L of u is minus 2u. So u is x, y, z because over here we have r power 3 mean we will take 3 dimensional plane x, y, z. So L of x, y, z will be minus 2 time of u is x, y, z it become minus 2x minus 2y minus 2z. For first entry, make x1 and other entry 0. So it become minus 2, 0, 0. For L of e2, make x and z0 and y1. So it gives us 0 minus 2, 0. For another entry, it will give us 0, 0 minus 2. So the required standard matrix will be minus 2, 0, 0. 0 minus 2, 0 and 0, 0 minus 2. Now move towards the application of linear transformation. Question number 31. Use substitution and matrix A is given in 3 class 3 order matrix. Part number A is code the message, send him money. And B part is decode the message, which is a very long chain. So first we will find the A inverse by using rho h will on palm power up A. So A inverse will be 0, 1, minus 1, 2, minus 2, minus 1, minus 1, 1 and 1. So percent him money. So the down up SO we have 19. So as long as A, B, C, D, E, F and arrange them 1, 2, 3, 4 and give the code 19, 5, 14, 4, 8, 9, 13, 13, 15, 14, 5, 25. This is actually the code of percent him money. So the required code will be AX1, AX2, AX3, AX4. My A is given. This is AX1, this is X2, this is X3, and this is X4 from send him money. By multiplying AX1, AX2, AX3, AX4 will give us some code. So the code will be 71, 52, 37, 47, 30, 26, 64, 56, 43, 99, 69, 55. This is the code. Now for decoding, we have given this long chain. So first we will find A inverse. A inverse is given. Multiply with P1. This is B1. This is B2. This is B3. This is B4. So it will give us X1, X2, X3, X4 by A inverse V2, A inverse V3, A inverse V4. So the code will generate 3 pi 18. 21 9 14 12 25 and 14 15 20 so the code will be certainly not this is decoding message 
Now solving the last question of exercise number 4.3 question 32A is given 5321 part number A quote the message work hard and part number B decode this message. So first we will find A inverse which is minus 1 3 2 minus 5. So for the work hard down the W we have 23 according to this series of 8 will give us 23 15 18 11 8 1 18 4 0. For coding the message we will find AX1 AX2 AX3 AX4 my A is also given which is this matrix and this is X1 let's suppose this is X2 this is X3 X4 multiply them with A it will give us the message 160 61 123 47 43 17 and 102 40 for decoding the message this is series is given so we will find A inverse A inverse is given and this let's suppose V1 this is V2 this is V3 this is V4 so multiply A inverse with V1 V2 V3 V4 it will give us X1 X2 X3 X4 so the decoding message will be 15 6 oh, 3 15 oh, 21 18 and 19 5 oh. so it will give us up course oh. so this is actually the decoding message